It may sound like something from the Jetsons. Yeah, I know, the 60s called, they want the reference back. But tonight, Uber says it is serious about building a network of flying cars here in Los Angeles without pilots. The company released promo videos today showing what Uber Elevate <laughs> could look like in a few years. Hey, I like the 60s reference. They probably <laughs> right. do, too. We get a chance to say the Jetsons again. But the question is, is any of this even possible? Well, CBS 2's Tom Wade is live at USC, where he spoke with one of their transportation experts about the Uber idea. Tom? Okay, so Pat and Jeff, the short answer to whether or not this is possible is yes. And of course, it's not just the Jetsons. We also saw the other other reference to this is Back to the Future too. Remember, in in the, the movie, they had all those flying cars. But anyway, getting back to what Uber wants to do, they want to accomplish this by 2023. Introducing the Uber Skyport Mobility Hub. Uber is looking to launch itself into a new hypermodern future where fleets of pilotless drones fly passengers above traffic. The Uber Skyport is your first step towards a stress free transportation experience. Today, Uber released a concept video of what an Uber elevation terminal could look like in LA. The question is any of this even possible? The technical constraints will be knocked down and we'll have to decide whether or not we want to do this. Professor James Moore is the director of the Transportation Engineering Program at USC. I wouldn't be afraid of it. Um, the automation questions can probably be knocked down. Um, at least I believe that they can. The technology for driverless cars is still being refined. Travel by air without a pilot, Uber may have to sell this to some skeptical passengers. Considering how cars have enough trouble not crashing into each other on the ground, I feel like in adding another dimension might spell some more trouble. The future. So maybe the Hill Valley of 2015 is still a possibility, but a lot of work has to be done. And of course, it's not just about the technology. There's these details too. The FAA is not going to be quick to set standards for pilotless drones uh, that carry human beings as a cargo. And there were a number of companies that submitted concepts to Uber today. It's not clear when the company might choose one of them. And then, of course, they will have to submit these ideas to L.A. for approval. Reporting live at USC, I'm Tom Waits, CBS 2 News.